All right, here's uh, my next video of a boiler. I'm going to run coal in it today. I want pretty good sized pieces of coal. I use nut, uh, Utah nut coal. Uh, the boiler itself is 20 inch diameter, 32 inches tall. That's just this section right here. And it has 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. Overall height of it is uh, 80 inches. Firebox is 22 by 22. The frame is bigger than that, but the firebox itself is 22 square. It features an electric high pressure pump. I'll demonstrate that in a little while. Really nice gauge on it. Antique. Beautiful whistle. I'll blow that here. Turn down your volume if you want to. It is loud. I think it's two and a half inch diameter or three inch diameter, I guess it is. I'm going to be running this pump later and selling it on eBay, but it's not part of this deal here. It's just uh, for later. Your fill and drain is right here. If you want to plug a hose on there and you can blow it down once in a while. Pop-off valve is set at 70 pounds on this one. And I will remove this valve, providing this pop-off valve works properly. There's a um, blower valve right there. It moves a lot of air through the fire using steam. Amazing. And like when I uh, put coal in, I'll do that now. I'll turn on that blower for a little while. You want good sized chunks of coal. Throw them in there. I've been just burning some old wood today. And then uh, stir it around a little bit, get it in there in the center, and, and it'll start burning. Turn on the blower for a little while. Get to move some air through it to start the coal burning. Engine out is right here, it's half inch. And I'll show how this pump works. There is no switch on the pump. There probably put one on but I haven't done that yet it's just a direct plug-in and I'll pause the camera here and uh, plug that in all right so the pump's running and I've got a bucket of water here so now I've got plenty of pressure and the air is out of it that's the airlock valve And everything now is going right into the boiler. I have a little blue line here. That's where it used to be. And it's slowly going up. You can actually see up there. And the tank is going down. So you don't want to do too much with it. Because you don't want to kill the steam. So that's how that works. Great. And it's come up quite a bit. So a couple things of interest, uh, you know, if you're using this uh, system off-grid, you can, uh, you know, charge battery bank and things like that with it, with one of my steam engines. I give 10% uh, off of eBay prices. And I offer free shipping on the West Coast. I can use Fastenal. And if you check my eBay uh, site, you'll see that I have 100% positive feedback as a seller and a buyer.
I've been doing this many years and I've had no problem. My name is Ross Bendixson. If you search my name, you won't find anything negative about any of my boilers or steam engines. If you want to call me, my number is 206-948-0770. My email address is anacortisteam at gmail.com. That's A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S-S-T-E-A-M at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.